Hey, what is up, YouTube? Michael here with Dark Cloud Vapors. I'm going to give you guys another review. This review for you guys, I'm going to help you with installing a Comma 3 into a 2022 Chevy Bolt EUV Premier. It has to be the Premier line, and it cannot have Super Cruise. If you're interested in a Comma 3, here's the device itself. It is a really damn nice device. Well made. Looks much better than the Comma 2 did, which was more of a DIY looking project. But anyways, I want to show you guys how to hook this up to the Chevy Bolt EV because I noticed there's not really any YouTube videos out for the Bolt. Um, so something you're going to need when you get this, you're going to need your Comma 3, of course. Another thing you're going to need, you're going to need a GM harness. This is the harness for GM so that you're able to connect it to your vehicle. And you're going to need this little black panda well this is the i forget what they call it, this the heart the the relay harness basically is what it is when you buy it from comma see i bought my wiring harness off of etsy from a seller for a lot less than what it cost through comma But I didn't realize that when I did that, this box didn't come with it. So I had to go and purchase this separately for an extra hundred bucks. So either way, I still came out cheaper purchasing them both separate. But comma sells your harness. You just select your car for the comma three. When you're going in there to purchase it, it'll say select your car. You select your car and you'll get the harness with the relay box all as one package. Um, something else you get, you get the comma power and you get, uh, it's like an ethernet cable that runs through your car and it goes down to your ODB tube port, which connects into here and that connects into there. I already have mine run through my car. I didn't take that out. I took everything else out, but I left that wire in there. So that would... It'd be easier you know how to tuck a wire and i'll show you where i tucked it and everything um anyways let's go ahead and hop up here take a look at it i'll show you how to install this all right first things first you already know i'm gonna lean that mirror down i'm gonna reach up here and pull this down it's gonna be hard to do with one hand i can get it though i'll figure it out pop that down oh actually wait a minute i forgot there's a little tab right here. Just put your fingernail against it and kind of push it down. See that pops right out of there. And then this can slide off to the side. Now you're inside here. I already have mine undone for ease. But right here on the harness, there's a little tiny white tab. You're gonna pull that tab forward and you're gonna press down inside here and pull that out. And you can see right here is that little tab and it slides in and out. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is take your wiring harness and take the end that matches your same cable you just removed and you're gonna put that into the hole where you just removed this one. So here's the car's factory one. This is the harness, the one that goes in there. Now what you're gonna wanna do is take the factory one from the car and plug it into the opposite end on here. It's hard to do with one hand. Bam. So now you've got this connected and this connected. Okay. And you're, you're almost done that quick. Now what I do is I just kind of tuck these wires up here and kind of in the middle area like this and i i have my panda running out to the side because it's kind of hard to tuck i don't have much space in mind so i guess i'd be with anyone that's doing this for the bolt euv um there's not a whole lot of room to move stuff i actually see a nice little route i can take here i'll kind of keep that up there my sticky pad ain't sticky no more, so when you get yours, it'll be fresh and sticky. You can stick it there. You can try to tuck it up underneath here if you want to, but you'll see once you get it, there's not really a whole lot of clearance in here. 
So I'm just keeping it off to the side like this. You don't even notice it or see it. Let's see what I did here. See what I did here is I kind of grouped all the wires together and see this little channel right here. When I close this up, those wires are going to be running through this little channel right here. And that'll kind of give it the clearance. And then my panda is running over here to the side. All right. I got it most of the way done. But when you get it all in there, you're basically just going to push everything and just snap it all into place. And as you can see, my wires are all tucked inside right here. My panda is run to ran. I said panda run. Panda is run over here to the side. It's kind of tucked up here. Out of sight, out of mind. Here's the Ethernet cable. You're going to plug that in. Route that along the edge of the roof. Oh, sorry. I went down through here. Through this side. And I come out down here at the bottom of the door. Through the edge. Now... You want your comma power. Try to do this with one hand where you can still see it maybe. And you're just going to plug that in. Just like that, that simple. And every car pretty much has this, the ODB2 port. Plug it in. Now what you want to do, something you probably wanted to do before all this, actually, I want to put this back on. That just snaps back into place, just like that. That's got to go back. And you're going to want to mount your mount that comes with a comma. And the best way to get that centered is you're going to measure from one side of the window to the other, and from the top to the bottom find the center of both of those and for me i found that center and i went as high as i could so i'm still able to see my comma while i'm driving but it's as high as it can to see the most of the road as it can so center it as much as you can this way and then ride up and down this line right here that you measure you just kind of stay on stay in that center bring it up as high as you can or you can still see it they recommend to leave this on for 24 to 48 hours to let the adhesive cure, but I sat mine on here and it's like I've been using it. It hasn't had any issues, but recommendations say 24 to 48 hours. All right, once you get all that done, you got your comma two. You're going to take your comma two. Comma three, I mean, sorry, comma three. Plug in your USB-C. Now we're going to mount it inside the window. Just like that. Mounts nice and easy. Always good to keep you a microfiber cloth around. Keep it nice and clean and always fresh looking. Keep my cameras wiped off good. And you're going to take this USB-C and I just kind of go up and over my mirror. And you're going to plug it in. Oh, sorry. I got it off the camera. Go up over the mirror. And plug that in. As you can see, we've got action. This is the branch that I am using. As you can see, I have put a little bit of time on mine. I've used mine for a good little bit. Absolutely love this thing. There is my fork that I am using and I absolutely highly recommend this fork for anyone that wants to use it for the Bolt EV. Um, it has the EUV steering uploaded to it so it's got a little bit better steering and absolutely no complaints. There's some curves where you might have to like just touch the wheel but for the most part I genuinely will just kind of just touch the wheel like that and it'll make the turn if I need to. So it's just a very small little nitpicky thing that I'm not too worried about. Um, so yeah, 
that's it you're done super simple super easy quick um if you guys have any questions throw them down in the comments i'll try to answer them as best as i can or direct you to where you can get them uh so yeah all right and then down in the description i'll leave you guys a link so that you're able to install this sunny pilot branch of open pilot so that you're able to run it on your 2022 ev and you get the best performance you can to start off with um everyone recommends going stock first but stock really has no options inside of it and it's it's okay it's just okay but this i mean you got toggles you got navigation you got all kinds of different settings that the regular one does not provide the standard stock so yeah make sure you guys get this branch if you have the 2022 euv like i said i'll leave you guys a link down in the description and i will put it in the video so you'll see it come across the video something else i wanted to touch back on when you get this done you're fully done installing it. You've got it all plugged in, all hooked up, running, going in here like this. The first thing that's going to pop up for you is going to tell you to connect to the internet. And then it's going to ask you if you want to put it in dash cam mode or if you want to put it in custom software mode. And of course, you're going to want to click the custom software mode and you're going to say, OK, and it's going to take you to a URL link. And it's going to ask you to enter in the website. And on that URL link that pops up, that is where you're going to enter in the link that I'm giving you for this Sunny Pilot branch and let that install in here. And then when it gets done installing, it'll have you do a little tutorial. We will click on some stuff and it'll give you some information and then you'll be ready to drive. A calibration will pop up. All you got to do is drive over 15 miles an hour and it'll calibrate itself and your car will be driving itself that quick, that easy, that simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything else you want me to touch base on, um, let me know and I'll try to make another video for you guys. I'm going to do some videos of me driving around with this, trying out different things, different scenarios, testing different branches. Um, yeah. And I plan on doing a review of this car. I love this car. Anyone who knows, the 2022 Bolt EUV is an amazing car. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video.